and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh and a reviewing NVIDIA. This was a really nice options call that I made. Um, and it was kind of tricky because, and I, I did a video on this, I don't know if it was yesterday. Yeah, it was yesterday I did it. Because this was really tricky because I called it and it dropped. So, so like it was gapping up in the morning, I'll show you in a minute. Then it ended up gapping down, okay? Then it fell but I still believed in it and it is breaking out today. And this is running up and actually, I mean, 650, 660, I mean it. In fact, let me just look here if I even put a dream target in the letter because sometimes I, sometimes I put a dream target in the letter and then sometimes I don't. I did really like this though. 660 was the last number I gave in this for the target, yeah. So I give targets in the letter, but I wouldn't even call 660 now that I'm looking at this a dream target. I'd say 675 is a dream target because I called this out till next Friday. But, you know, theoretically, I, it is going into a long weekend and it's going into a holiday week. Um, I called the 630 calls, but again, going back to this, what happened here yesterday, stock closed here. It, it, it did really, it, it gapped down slightly. I mean, you could say neutral, but it really was, if you want to be specific, it was a gap down. Then it fell, and then and then it's breaking out today. You know, and, and I love this, I liked it, I thought it was strong. Initially, look at this, this is really nice. This is exactly what you want to see in an options trade. This is exactly what you want to see. What's happening here right now, this, this it's a push. It's a push, 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 push. It's momentum, it's getting bought. This is where you have, when you're in an option and you have something called time value, I, I always say it's like a balloon. When you, the balloon's getting blown up big here now and it's it's gonna go to 650, that, that much I know. Uh, let me just go here. So this was the other night, okay? So then this was, this was the night before, so this would have been Wednesday. Yeah, so this was Wednesday night I had earnings. It was up, it was down, it was all over the place. Then it was up on Thursday morning, and then it ended up opening down. Again, it, that was really bizarre. But anyways, I liked it, and I, I felt a high level of conviction that it was higher, and I was right. But you had to hold it through yesterday because if you took the train, the train was down before it's going, and sometimes that happens. I know everyone loves it when they go the same day I call them, but that's not the case. And again, getting back to what I was explaining, that's that's the volatility when you're playing it in the right direction you get the volatility like we're seeing here because people thought it was going to drop people thought it was going to fall continue falling from yesterday fill the gap all the way down here again it opened lower but that was not the case this was a great call by me really nice move up in here 10 15 but like i told everybody long weekend you know low volume of the day before the long weekend this has plenty of volume though so we'll see where this really goes. You could get out right here if you want. If you want to hold it into next week, you could have another move up. That's where it gets tricky. That's where it does get tricky, people. All right, good luck, everyone, and have a great, safe holiday weekend. If you're interested in signing up for the Gap Options newsletter, I'm running a sale only through Memorial Day. You only have till Monday to sign up. It's the cost of the letter for the year, which only have an annual subscription for 19 months, which is great. All the rest of 2021 and into 2022. Have a great day, everyone.